Hey everyone, it's Julian. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Jellycomb Backlit Keyboard. Now, Jellycomb did send me this product to review as part of their product testing program, but they are not sponsoring nor are they telling me what to say in this video. So everything I say in this review is going to be my honest opinions and experiences. So let's get started. So in the box, you get the keyboard itself, a silicone cover, a USB-C charging cable, and also a user manual. Now this thing was pretty easy to pair to my laptop and my iPad. You simply just hold the button that indicates which device you're using, either one, two, or three, hold it until it flashes, and then you can go into your Bluetooth settings and pair it easily. So first, let's talk about build quality. Now for the price of $60 or less, depending on all the coupons you can apply to it on Amazon, I'm very impressed by this keyboard. Now it's made out of aluminum alloy material and it has some heft to it that gives it that premium feel to it. The keys are actually made out of plastic, but that doesn't take away from the typing experience. I happen to really enjoy typing on these types of keyboards that doesn't have a lot of key travel or anything. I don't like the super loud mechanical keyboards, like gaming keyboards or anything like that. I like the subtle little noise of like typing on a laptop. Comparing to the typing experience, it's almost like typing on a Magic Keyboard. It's also close to typing on like a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air or something like that. So if you like that type of keys and typing, I think this is a great keyboard. I personally really enjoy using these. As I mentioned before, I do personally like the typing experience on this keyboard as I don't like having a lot of key travel or super clicky noises like a mechanical or gaming keyboard, for example. So what I'm gonna do is play a short clip of me just typing on this keyboard so you guys can hear and see the typing experience. So I want to show you guys the function keys uh, working here on my laptop here. Of course, I have it connected to a monitor, so the ones that won't show really is the brightness decrease and brightness increase. Of course, you have the mute button, you have decrease volume, increase volume, you have the back button for the music, play and pause, also play forward, again brightness and increase and decrease right there, or decrease increase, get select all, which I can show you now like that so then you can do copy you still have cut you also have search we have the screenshot option you got scroll lock pause and then again the other indicator lights here this one opens up the home page of your default browser i don't personally know if you can customize these buttons like the logitech keyboards which you can do but they all function really well and it does what it needs to do. So one of the biggest selling points of this keyboard is the backlight. Now you do not get RGB lighting, it's just a white backlit color, but you do get three options of brightness from lowest to highest, there's three levels. I personally use the highest level when I am working with the backlight, but since I don't always work in a dark room, I always have some type of light on. The brightest one is the one I use the most when I do use it. Now, put, turning on the backlight does reduce your battery life on this keyboard, but that really depends on your usage. The one thing I noticed with the backlighting is the caps lock key. Now, when you don't have backlight on, you press the caps lock and it shows the white LED backlight whatever indicator right there. But when the backlight is on, it shows a little bit of that key and it looks like it's turned on. So if you find that annoying, that's one of the things, but overall I think it does what it needs and it looks really good. The one thing I do notice about the lighting on this keyboard is if you look at the indicators of which Bluetooth device you are using, the light consistently just keeps blinking and blinking. Um, so if you're that type of person that looks at your keyboard while you type, that could be annoying to you, but for me, it doesn't bother me all that much. So let's talk about battery life. Now for me personally, since I don't always use the backlit uh, option, all the time. I actually haven't charged this keyboard since the day I got it, which I charged fully to 100%. And actually it's at about 45% right now, which is pretty incredible, um, especially for it being a rechargeable keyboard. Now again, this thing does charge with a USB-C cable, which is great since it is USB-C. They do include a cable with that. So I think overall, you don't have to worry too much about 
charging and the battery life on this thing, especially if you're using it for a home office. Of course, this is an honest review, so I have to give you guys my honest feedback of some of the uh, cons and setbacks that I found while testing out this keyboard. So one of the big ones I can find is the fact that if I step away from my laptop for more than 15, 20, 30 minutes or more, it actually takes a while for the keyboard to actually reconnect to my computer. So when I come into my computer, I actually can't wake up my computer with the keyboard even though I have that set up. And when I try to sign into my laptop after stepping away for a little bit, the keyboard isn't actually connected. So I have to go get my other keyboard or I have to go to the on-screen keyboard and sign into my laptop. And then after I get to get to sign in, it actually takes another 15, 20, 30 seconds to even a minute for the keyboard to actually register and start typing. Again, this is something that's really inconsistent, so there's never like a really set time of when it reconnects and disconnects. It's just something that I did notice. Um, I'm not sure if it's from my unit personally. It's a problem that I think I should look at other reviews and other people that have this keyboard, but it's something that I notice is very inconsistent. It's a little bit frustrating at times because my $30 keyboard is very instant. It's the Logitech K380. That's very instant in typing in here. But that is the one thing I did notice. But if you do have this keyboard and you find this setback and problem as well, please let me know. I'm not really sure about that, but that's the one thing that I found really frustrating with this keyboard. All right, so I've been away from my computer for about uh, 20 minutes now or 15 minutes or something. So I'm going to show you guys the one thing that does bother me. It might be from just my computer or so, but I'm not sure. Since I haven't tried it with the other devices, but since I do use this mostly just for my laptop and my main setup, so here we are at the screen. I'm gonna type in, put in my password as you can see. I'm pressing any keys, it's not registering. And I'm gonna not edit this part of the video so you guys can see how long it actually takes for this to actually connect. So as you see, I am pressing keys. Now I don't know it's cause my computer's like, my computer has to be opened up for it to connect to Bluetooth, but I'm not sure. So sometimes I have to go to my on screen or sometimes I even just go back to use my other keyboard to press it in cause even with that, it's still not registering. It's been over a minute so far so i'm gonna just turn my other keyboard on and it does it instantly this is the logitech one right here and then if i open up let's just go word there we go so I, i'm guessing it's cuz it's not connected when my computer's off. I'm not too sure. That's the one thing that I have about this this um, keyboard that does bother me. Because it takes a while for it to connect after you let it stand by for a little bit. Again, not completely sure about that. So overall, I really do like this product. Especially for the price of $60, you get that really nice, sleek, minimalist, modern look type of keyboard that you can get from those more expensive $100 keyboards like the Magic Keyboard and the MX Master Keys. You get decent battery life, three brightness options for the backlighting, and USB-C charging. Again, I think this is a great keyboard to try out if you don't want to spend $100 or more. Again, there are those minor setbacks that I did mention in this video that could be a deal breaker or could be annoying for some of you guys. But of course, you can always purchase a product and test it out and return it if it doesn't fit your needs. Personally for me, I can see this keyboard being part of my desk setup for the near future. So watch out for that and see if I continue using this keyboard or not. Overall, I really do like the experience I've had with this keyboard and thank you for Jellycomb for sending over this product for me to review. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I truly appreciate it. Until next time, take care.